Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is throw that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make him yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. So these fighters are just a year apart with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Irvine, California, Bam Bam. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Bruce, the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. Well, it's a venue that needs no introduction. The world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, even for a Boston guy, I have levels of appreciation for the building. I mean, when you walk into MSG, you get chills because you understand the history that comes with competing in this arena. Great punch landing with so much power. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Circling towards the left. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, that's a good right hand. Watch knees to the body. Oh, a 
and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. And he landed the right hand there. Back to the jab now, no good. as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, perfect head kick there. That punch, no good. Just over three minutes to go. Great punch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Head kick. Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Missed with that attempt. Big head kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Big body kick lands. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Oh, hurt. Looking to land the right just out of range. No tell on that leg kick. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Single collar tie now. That's a big strike right there. Exchanged in the pocket there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, good kicks. Oh, do you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the you fight. You got to start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take him clean, and you cannot take him on one arm. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Final seconds of round one. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Why well, don't we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes we gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. 
checks the leg kick. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Now connects with a right. Lee circling to his right. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. It's a beautiful fast quick jab with meaning. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, nice. Nice. Good punch. Continues to mix it up, coming to the head, mixing in some body shots. Slips. Touched by that kick there. Big head kick lands. Let's work, guys. Let's get busy with Big punch lands. Ooh. Just misses there with the left. All right, single collar tie now. attempt but unable to land 20 seconds left real sneaky body kick oh that's a nice strike look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick oh nice jab by him there and i guess on the other side hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I gotta be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. 
right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, that right hand is on point. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Nice punch by Lee. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, that one checked. Sound defensively blocks the shot. to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Look at the force behind that leg kick. that leg kick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Big head kick. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. Nice punch land over the top. Home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. Ah, now he's got hurt bad. Pretty good right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, roundhouse kick, DC. That was a beautiful strike, and that is the most powerful kick that you can land in a fight. Beautiful strike. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Connects with the right. 
Oh, a huge block there. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you gotta wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. And there comes the separation now. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Right hand upstairs. Still nice body kick. Man. Very bad. Dig and kick. What a body kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, that's the right the score. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Powerful leg kick lands. Big kick lands. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. All right, it's time to start here. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Big leg kick lands. Three minutes to go. strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Liver kick. Big punch land. Sniff that one out as he blocks it. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Liv. Big kick land. job to land the knee there by the taller fighter and I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say I wish I was a little bit tall you're a baller though he said. oh collar tie and they separate just misses with the right that was something. Whoa! Nice. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Beautiful move. Big kick land. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. 
right hand upstairs. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Slips the punch. Look at the angle of that tight oh. fight. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Oh, he might be out. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. He's hurt. He's hurt. So there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Body kick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that. that a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your tough. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound Outstanding kick there by Lee. Don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Unable to connect with a right hook. What a punch. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of you those. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbows inside, because otherwise, if you land one, it's going to shut everything down. Two minutes now to go in this one. That's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Oh, nice straight punch there by Lee. Just missed with the left there. It almost looked like it went lift there for a second. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Nice kick. 
Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Slams it. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. 45 seconds remain in the round. Real quick leg kick. Beautiful body kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice head kick. Well, these kicks to the body are really starting to pile up. Another one landed there by Lee. 20 seconds left. Rips the body there for good measure. Good stick. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you gotta think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly a pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate the fight.